Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to create a navigational form to navigate through the different objects in the database. So this is part five of the sales database. And just to recap, we've got three tables, customers, products, and a sales table. And we did a couple of invoices, sales invoice, products sold, and then we did a query for sales, which is a parameter query, which would allow you to run an invoice. So that's invoice one. So that, that's where we're at. And we did a couple of reports. Let me just close some of these down. So report invoice, invoice one, with some um, analysis on it. Like so. Close that down. And then we did a report, same thing. This is the wizard that created this. So that's that's where we're at. And then the last thing was a couple of forms. We've got a form there with each customer and the sales that they've had. And then this one was just the, the sales invoice, which told you what the next invoice was. So on these forms, I want to put some navigational buttons. And I want to create a new form, which is going to be a main menu form, first of all. So let's do that. Create form. blank form I want to create form form design okay so on there look a bit bigger I need to go into form design and create a couple of buttons command button form operations so open form next any pick in the form so customer sales next show records customer sales finish and then I'll do another one to open another form form operations open form next sales next next open form sales finish save this as main menu save main menu okay to that and then just have a quick look so click on that, opens that form. I'll just close these two down so you can see. Click on that, opens the other one. So what I want on here is a close button and a new record button. So if I go into design on this one, so I need to do a command button there. That's just going to be a straightforward close. So form operations, close form, next. Just leave it like that, close form, finish. And then another one, which is going to be open form operations, open form. And then I'm going to go for main menu. Now, at a later date, I will show you how to do macros for this, which is a better way of doing it. But just for now, I have to step it in. So I just want to highlight those two and arrange them. Tabular like so and then let's go and have a look and click on this see what happens so if I open main menu it opens main menu close form yes I do want to save it open close open open back so it just clicks back to this and then open sales we haven't got one on there so I need to do the same sort of thing on there but I'll just do a close button on this one close form close close form finish and then let's go for let's save that new record so what a new record so it's record operations add new record at the top add record that's what I'll leave it as and then finish and then we'll just Arrange those two like so. Save form design. Have a look. So add new record goes to straight there. Close form just closes the form. So on customer sales, I should have add new record as well. So if we've got a new customer, I can do that. So I'll just put that one on there as well. So the command button record. Add new record, 
add new record, finish. Um, arrange tabular, so we're going to, ta yeah, that's good. And then have a quick look at that one. So add record, ready to go for a new record. Close form. Yes, I do want to save it, should have saved after. Now on this one, let's, that's all forms. Let's look at running a report. So command, Report operations, preview report, and then you go through the same process, uh, report invoice, I'm, I'm only going to use that one, preview um, invoice, report, finish, let's sort these out, arrange, let's go for stacked in this one, save, have a look, form design, new, so preview invoice report, it's running a parameter query, so invoice one, then it drops that in there, invoice one, close that off, form sales, close form, because that's stayed open. So what, what a macro will do, we'll do exactly the same, but when I click on open form sales, it will close the main menu down. You might want the main menu to stay open all the time, it's totally up to you, but it's a bit of a tidy way of doing it, but that's a, on another video. But for now, that's all I want to talk about. So hopefully, creating those little command buttons is of use. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one.